My name is Eric Kirkland, and I am not a rapist. So I watched a video today, and it, it kind of got me a little irked off. There's something going on with Uber and Lyft and just society in general. Let me back up. So I was watching this video and it was about a Lyft is going to start training drivers about sexual harassment. And this video was made by a female driver. And she started the video just kind of putting men down. I get so tired that guess what? Just because I have a penis between my legs, it does not mean I am going to rape you. I'm, I'm trying to calm down a little bit because I'm going to talk to you about the media, okay? The media is all about sensationalism. For every one driver that you may hear about that sexually harassed someone, you will not hear about the million other rides that are happening at the same time when someone is getting home safe with no issue. I get tired of I'm going to just say this. I personally feel a woman passenger will be safer with me than anybody else, okay? There's reasons I say that. I, I'm sorry, I'm kind of skipping all over the place. There's also this misconception that a man cannot be sexually harassed. And this is where I want to hear from the other male drivers. I want you to comment down below if you have ever been sexually harassed. I've had female passengers show me their tits. I've had female passengers invite me back in. I've had female passengers reach over and hug me. I've had female passengers grab my leg. Are all those incidents sexual harassment? Guess what? Yes, they are, okay? An unwanted sexual advance is sexual harassment. So let's stop this that it only happens to women, okay? It happens to men and it happens to women. I am not justifying it. I totally disagree with it. But as a man, I am getting tired of being accused of being a rapist just because I have a penis. She started this video and then went into, what do we got to do, men? Do we got to stop dressing this way? Do we got to stop doing that? You know what? That's a small percentage of the people. Do I know the answer? No. There was once a app that was going to get started called She Drives. And it got a lot of us male drivers pissed off because this app was going to be just for women to get rides by other women i understand how that feels but i disagree at the same time in a in a business aspect you can't disqualify another person because of their gender that would be like me starting an app saying, you know what, I don't trust white people. I'm, this is a true story. One time when I was younger, I was walking down the street. Somebody threw an egg at me and called me a nigger, okay? Does that mean that I should think I don't trust all white people? Does that mean all white people are the same? No, that was an isolated incident. It is the same thing with these incidents of sexual harassment. I'm, I'm trying to be very careful here because I, I don't want to come off as insensitive. Uh, I understand the issue, but at the same time, what are we going to do? Are we going to take, uh, uh, not? I don't know, are we going to take all these male drivers out here that are doing their job correctly, that are doing their job safely, that are getting people home safe, that have never harassed a woman, and all of a sudden, you can't trust them because they have a penis? I, I don't know the answers, people, but this video just got me upset. Yeah. Oh. So I, I don't want to turn this into a man versus woman thing. It's a driver thing. Okay. Men do get sexually harassed. It's happened to me. I am nobody special. I'm not a supermodel. Look, I, I'm just being honest. It happens. You get drunk people in your car. It's going to happen. It's going to happen to you women. Not all women, not all men are going to sexually harass you. I don't know the answer. 
you might get sexually harassed by another woman, okay? I do not know how to stop it, but we all, every driver has to remember sensationalism sensationalism that's what's going to sell news not newspapers nobody will read the newspaper anymore but that's what's going to have people turn in and watch the news story is the uber driver that killed somebody the uber driver that raped somebody the uber driver that was a uh, oh what's the latest one there's a guy who was a war criminal that's a driver now we all know that the vetting process for uber and lyft sucks we all know they will take anybody off the street to be a driver okay that's what it is. If you don't feel safe with your Uber or your Lyft driver, I understand that. If you think you might be safer with a taxi driver, good luck. But I just want to say on behalf of men everywhere, ladies, we are not here to rape you, okay? We are here to get you where you want to go safely, correctly, without issue. That's going to be 99.9% .9 of your drivers. For that 0.1%, I don't know what to do. But I, I am tired of being put in the same category with that 0.1% of male drivers. So guys, that, that's all I got to say for now. Uh, any drivers, male drivers especially, if you've ever been sexually harassed, we, I think we look at that differently. If, if it's an unwanted sexual advance, that's harassment. Like I said, I've had it happen. I just kind of, you know, blow it off because nobody got harm, no harm, no foul. They're usually drunk. They're coming home at 2 in the morning. It is what it is. Is it wrong? Yes. It, when a man does it, is it worse? Yes, it is. Once again, I do not know the answer. But I do know that I can get you home safer than anybody. And guess what? I happen to have a penis. You know what? I'm not going to rape you. Never raped anybody in my life. I'm not going to rape anybody. It is what it is, guys. All right, guys. So once again, I just had to get that off my chest. That The video got me a little upset. Uh, I'm not going to say who it was. I'm not going to call them out or any of that. But it was that, men, what do we got to do? Do we got to stop dressing like this? Do we got to stop doing this? Huh? You know what? Get off your high horse, lady. That's not every man in the world. That's just a few people, and those are the people that you are going to hear about on the news. You get in my car, all you're going to get is a safe ride. So once again, guys, post below if you think you've ever been sexually harassed. Uh, post below if this pisses you off. Maybe I'm blowing it out of proportion. I don't know. But I would like to know your thoughts, and I'm out of here. Have a good day. Drive safe, be safe, get out, make that money, be smart. For ladies, I apologize for these assholes out there that don't know how to act in a business environment. You are going to get those people. Call them out. If a driver harasses you, report it to Uber, report it to Lyft. Don't let them get away with it. Let's keep us good drivers on the road. Let's get the trash out of here. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you.